Hello, Star Citizens, Hellhawk here. In our last video, we took a look at the cargo refactor and what ships needed to be updated to work with the new mechanic, as well as a few thoughts on which updates can make the greatest impact. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the mining features that we have in Star Citizen and what we're missing to take this game loop to the next level. Let's get started. Gem mining has the entry price of a couple thousand AUEC. The gameplay mechanic consists of the same mining minigame used across all of the mining profession. The risk is you blow yourself up if you overcharge a rock, the reward being you get to pick up the valuable fragments. There's not a whole lot to it. An extension of this is mining with a vehicle. It does require a ship that can transport a rock. It could be a Cuddy Black, Freelancer Max, something as small as a Nomad. And sometimes you'll need specialty armor if it's a super hot or super cold planet. And then of course you need the rock or the rock DS. Otherwise the mechanic is pretty much the same. The only difference here is that you're going to hunt down the gem deposits by ship. It's the same exact mini game as the hand tool, but when the rock fractures, you switch to your tractor beam to collect the fragments. If you screw up, the explosion's just bigger. Again, not a lot to it. The biggest barrier is either coming up with the initial rental or purchase cost for the rock and the transport ship. I'm relatively happy with how this is set up. It's an easy process, doesn't take a ton of time to get into, but it's lacking a bit in the multi-crew area. CIG tried to address this with the Rock DS, having a dedicated pilot and mining laser operator. Realistically, most players would just bring along a second rock if they were able to have a friend mining at the same time, and it just doubles your collection speed. Another issue is gem mining seems to be lacking in its max tier game loop. If we're thinking the end-all be-all of gem mining, we need to add a refining step. Imagine a ground vehicle atlas sized or larger. You can deposit the contents of your backpacks or rock containers and then it sorts and compresses it into an extremely valuable 1SEU container. Adding this step would require a larger transport vehicle. Currently the Hercules is the only vehicle capable of managing vehicles this large. The addition of the refinery vehicle forces you to use a larger transport ship and encourages the use of additional rocks. Also, it may be a good idea to have dedicated personnel for refining and security. As this is the top tier of gem mining, you have the increased risk of being interrupted by piracy due to more activity in one area, but the gameplay loop gets an extra step and your potential rewards increase accordingly. If you don't prefer spaceflight, this gives you something to build towards planet side that can make you a fair amount of currency. Now all of this will be more expensive than an entry level mining ship such as a prospector, but all this equipment would still cost far less than a space mining op, which would require multiple prospectors or moles paired with refinery and transport ships. Another thing to keep in mind is that UEC shouldn't be the only consideration. Maybe compressed gems are required for a specific component to something you're crafting as part of a larger in-game goal. Maybe industrial giants like Crusader Industries need so much of it for their ship production lines, and selling these goods to them reduces the cost of Crusader ships in the system or increases the speed at which they're built, or both. Not everything should just be a money grind. When it comes to ship mining, you're going to need a MISC Prospector or Argo Mole, and maybe some upgraded heads for the mining lasers depending on what you're trying to mine. As I said previously, there's no change to the mining minigame aside from the fact you typically have to crack rocks into smaller chunks, so you repeat the process a few more times. An added feature for ship mining are mining gadgets. These adjust the properties of the rocks to make them easier to crack. Personally, I think this is a bit of a cop-out. The gadgets should have been explosive charges. And at the time they were released, I could see tech issues getting in the way, and hopefully this doesn't mean they're going to avoid releasing those at some other time. Ship mining does currently have station refineries allowing for multiple refining jobs and processes which affect time to refine and final yield. Again, not a bad baseline. There are a few critical features missing from these tiers of the gameplay loop, so let's start with those. First off, the bags on the mining vessels are inoperable. This causes the mole to lose an in overall efficiency to the smaller prospector. 
Why have one pilot and three laser operators when you could just have four prospectors? The main advantage of the mole is supposed to be its ability to sort, separating out inert material and making the bags it fills full of nothing but the good stuff. But without that, aside from the rule of cool or personal preference, it doesn't make sense to operate. What we need, first and foremost, for ship mining, are bags that can be detached and replaced from the prospector and mole. This opens up mining ops, which gives industrial minor players a more complete game loop to play as a group, which I also commented on in my other video about cargo refactor and ships that benefit from it, so feel free to click the link above to check that out. We need seismic charges. Though gadgets are an interesting test, this is a heck of a lot less exciting than making things go boom. This gives the ability for smaller crews to scan and break up larger rocks. A detailed scan of the rock could give you drill points, which you could then bore out with a specialized mining tool. Think a full-size salvage rifle, but the mining variant. And then you place the charges at the proper depth. Now this can also have a time limit involved. Due to the resistance of the rock, the charges can't be remote detonated, so you have to manually set the charge timers to be as close as possible. Screw up and you turn into pink mist, or the rock doesn't completely crack and causes you to either rescan and redrill, or you just lose out in materials. We gotta have that risk and reward gameplay, but it does need to be a little less monotonous than point, click, scroll, repeat. Now if all of this sounds like way too much and you just prefer to throw on your music, chill, and mine some rocks, that's fine. You don't have to take advantage of these additional features. You can do mining like we have been doing for the last couple years. But it would be nice to see an increase of risk and reward for the beginning and medium tier mining occupation. We also need our expanse. Again, that gives the extra process and encourages multi-ship gameplay, and hopefully it will increase efficiency as well. Now, the other thing we're missing for mining is the final tier of the mining gameplay, which is the Orion. Maybe they adjust the process for the biggest mineable rocks the same as how I mentioned earlier, except now charges are set by mining drones to speed up the process. So yeah, we would need mining drones and tractor beams since that's how the Orion operates. Now, the Orion functions as its own refinery, so I guess the only other thing we'd need is to make sure that there's a ship capable of transporting the Orion's cargo boxes to a station in order to keep it remote and keep it processing at the mining op. And again, I'm just going to repeat this from earlier. We need a reason to mine aside from just getting UEC. Refining is a step in the right direction here, but it's only one of the steps along the way. We really need that functioning economy that we can interact with and affect. The ability to craft goods, affect prices at manufacturing centers. What I'm really hoping for is that these are things that we start to see once Pyro does release. Because if they do it correctly, Pyro should be the first piece of our functioning economy due to the fact that it creates a demand for the products and materials coming from Stanton. Now you've heard my ideas of what I think would take mining to the next level. What are some of the ideas that you have that would make this gameplay better? What are your favorite aspects of mining gameplay currently? Are there any specific aspects of this gameplay loop that you're looking forward to? Feel free to answer these questions in the comment section below. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on this topic, and if you find out that there's something that I've missed, feel free to add the info into the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more. Also, feel free to check out these other Star Citizen videos for more unique content. Well, that's all I had for today. This is Hellhawk signing off. See you in the verse.